You could see the dollar here printing new yearly lows coming into our next target of $90.83. We'll be taking a look at the weak dollar. You could see gold here. We're going to be looking at the 12 hour time frame in this show today. We're going to do something a little bit different, mix it up, give us a bit of a different perspective. We're going to be looking at gold and then into silver, followed by Bitcoin. Ethereum, and then we'll also be taking a look here at the indexes, S&P 500, that's beautiful right there. Same thing with the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the Russell. We're gonna give it a full afternoon rundown, and we're gonna see what opportunity is presenting itself. We'll start here with the Russell 2000 over here, and you see that this beautiful bull flag is now developing. It's as clear as day, look at that. Getting ready here towards the top part of the resistance of the flag itself, looking for a breakout over here. The talk, once again, is stimulus. It doesn't look like anything is gonna happen by the end of the year not before the Georgia election. There's no way either side can go ahead and agree to any type of stimulus before what they see where the cards lay for next year. We need to know who's in control of the Senate. Right now, we just have both sides continuing where they left off. One side obnoxiously far to one side, the other side obnoxiously far to the other. Nothing is going to be done, but stocks and equities, they do like it. Why? Because it's a signal that more stimulus is coming. It is coming. We've been saying that is the signal we've been following all year long, all year long. Now look at here. We have the S&P 500 just off all-time highs, closing higher than yesterday. Great sign here. Everything looking super bullish. When I say everything looking super bullish, those who have been following know this consolidation pattern that happened over here to make another leg out of it, consolidate again, another leg up, a bull flag out of it, and here, another leg up for all-time highs. It all looks very, very nice. Same thing here at the NASDAQ. Look at that wick over the last 12 hours. Back uh, to unchanged where the NASDAQ was trading just 12 hours ago. The Dow looks like it's resuming right here, resuming right out, follow my mouse. There's the entry right there. Following off the support here of that channel. Again, very clear, very orderly. This is the only change that I see. The Russell 2000, it's printing a clear bull flag now. That makes it easy to spot and easy for an entry over here. What else? The dollar is trading obviously off today. Trading, again, 12 hour time frame today for this show, just to give us that bit of a different perspective here as we're looking at the markets. There's a lot of clarity that's happening right now. Being as this, the market is now really focused in on the stimulus, although no stimulus is coming in December. It is setting up for January, possibly early February, whatever the case may be. The market's tracking it right now and the dollar selling off here. Hold on to your milkshakes. We are testing $90.83. That is the area, let me zoom out to the three day. I just wanna show you, that is just the next target, targeting this area right over here. We have a little bit of uh, support in this area that was resistance. Here we had support, broke, this area held as resistance. We're watching this area next. And then after that, we're looking over here at two year lows, trading below $88.40. A lot of you have taken action on the euro to play the dollar. Excellent, excellent, excellent trades. Heath, great heads up, letting everyone know. All right, let's move over. Let's check out what's going on with gold here again. We're going to start on the 12-hour time frame today just to give you a bit of that different perspective over here. Look, I said it before, I'm just going to say for the last time over here, it looks like there was some type of manipulation. We all know gold and silver are heavy manipulated, but yesterday, gold and silver, they were bouncing way ahead of any talk of stimulus, whether or not it was just bargain hunting uh, buyers as gold was off 15% off its all-time high, or people had wind of the, of the stimulus talks being reunited on the hill, and they front, front run that. Over here, though, technically now for the rest of us, what do we do? You could see the beautiful price action. You could see prices come up already if I come down to an eight-hour eight time frame. Uh, no, I thought that was gonna give me a better view. I'll come back to the eight hour in one second. Do you see that we closed here? Came back in intraday, touched the broken resistance. 
uh, held as support and then resumed off of it right now making higher highs. That's all very bullish. On the eight hour, this occurred as the trade entry that has no name where price came into the resistance level. We had the one down price bar and then the next bar engulfed it, the entry that has no name. There it is over there. Uh, looks very bullish. If you're not in the trade now and this is something that you're lining up, you're now just waiting for the next pullback. Here you have the true trend. You could just pull it up from above on, on trading view. Here's the entry CCI right now. Wait for that to come back, reset for the entry CCI to become over oversold in this move up trend over here. I know that the true trend is not an uptrend yet, but price is broken over here outside of that trend line. You could be looking for pullbacks right now. Maybe we come into the resistance over here at 1850 before having that pullback. Maybe it happens now, either which way. That's the next entry into the trade. Let's look at the eight hour. There you go. You can see the entry that had no name. You're just waiting here. I'd be looking on the uh, probably on the eight over the 12 hour for the precision entry over there. Uh, over here on silver, let's go to the 12 hour again. And you could see just the same thing that happened to gold. There is a double bottom over here. You know, silver never really lost this last bit of important support at $22.20. Nevertheless, something fishy was up over here as gold and silver were bought up yesterday morning, um, yesterday during London, I believe. And then over here now we have uh, right into that little bit where my mouse is right now, that little bit of resistance price is just having a little bit of a hiccup. Let me go ahead and move down a little bit of resistance over there because it's important. It belongs on the chart. If we get above that, the next leg is opening up. If not, same play as in gold. Now is the time to look for sweet spot entries. Look for the first pullback over here and a time to get in precious metals over here. As if we if we do see a bigger package than expected, it won't be long before both metals are trading at new all-time highs. Bitcoin. Again, we looked at Bitcoin beautifully this morning. You could see that it is holding this line right over here. We don't know which way it's going to go. Someone mentioned to me, it was mentioned to me that over here we have um, we had a 30% pullback on Bitcoin versus the euro. And we'll just make note of it. This is on Coinbase over here. This is I'm tracking the, the Bitcoin US dollar. And Bitcoin US dollar only had a 16.5% pullback. It did not have a 30% pullback. I don't think this is comparing apples and apples. It's comparing apples and oranges. And here's the orange, though. It is Bitcoin uh, euro. And you could see that there was a 30% pullback. You could see that this was a big wick. Remember, I've kept saying always have your orders ready because we might just wick down there. Here's a perfect example of why, if you're looking to play the pullbacks, your orders need to be resting off the current all-time high at all times because this price action could be just really quick. You could see over here as price came down, there were a bunch of orders, a lot of orders. Look at the volume, picking that up. And then over here, it has recovered. That is different though than, than the US dollar, which is only seen two 20% and one 16.5% pullback ever since the halving and going right into the halving over there where that first pullback 20% occurred right over there. Now, where does that leave us right now? It kind of leaves us in an area where we still need to see which way we're going to break out because we could go either way from here. We are hugging this line of resistance. Get above it. It sets up the next leg up. If we are rejected over here, the first area that we're going to be looking at is what is happening down over here around $16,830. As long as that holds, this is extraordinarily bullish here for, for Bitcoin. If we lose that area, then we are looking at that 30% pullback. We're looking at a test over here of 13,830. If we are uh, if we are rejected here and we then lose this next bit of support, that will take us down for full correction, which will be somewhere around 30%. Ethereum lighten up over here again, just as Ethereum over here. I just want you to see we have made higher swing highs and higher lows over here in this last bit of area on Ethereum. At this point in the cycle, Ethereum's getting ready to run. Last point in the cycle after Bitcoin had its first pullback, testing the all time high and then went on to make the new all time high. 
It then had also another 30% pullback. That's the pullback where Ethereum really started to run against Bitcoin. If you're tracking right now, as Alan pointed out this morning, Ethereum, Bitcoin, this might be setting up right over here. You could see the price action, the consolidation happening. We're getting ready right now for a move up or down. Cycle timing has it, it's going to be to the upside, and this is going to be the beginning of a massive run here on Ethereum, Bitcoin, as we've seen from also Brandon and Alan pointing out this descending wedge. On tomorrow's, uh, either tomorrow during the live stream or tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to get Brandon's channel on here, show you where you can subscribe to his updates, uh, who's just talking about cryptocurrency all the time with the Telegram group. Brandon, your insight is greatly appreciated. Everyone, have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the morning.